Hey everyone, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. <clears throat> this reading is for all signs. Guys, I am getting ready to go to bed. I'm going to get this weekly out. I will not do individual love sign readings, but I will do the elemental readings for love. Um, I am exhausted. I've done over 10 recordings and two readings today. I also cleaned out my garage. Um, scrubbed it from top to bottom. Cleaned out the backyard. It has been one heck of a day. And I'm tired and I need to go to bed because I have to get up early. Um, for the one, like, there, there are some things that I want to mention to all of you out there. I don't know if um, any of you Tauruses have listened to your uh, monthly Taurus video yet or your bi-monthly uh, video yet. But in the Taurus video, I mentioned something going on with Boston. And this is how predictions work because we pull in energies that have extremely intense response to them. And, um, you know, whether that's a collective response or whether that is a very localized response. And for those of you that don't know, there was a group of students coming in from Ecuador and they were heading to Boston airport. <clears throat> And they all fell extremely sick at the same time. Ambulance uh, calling in for a 13 transport for 13 patients to the hospital because of illness. And it was at Boston. So just giving you guys an, an idea of how those confirmations work. Um, the other thing that happened with the Gemini reading is Gemini's, I mentioned that electronics were going to be going buggy and you're going to be affecting electronics. Please just let me know if, um, your high mercurial energy is starting to affect electronics around you. I've already blown out a light bulb, my, um, series going off for no reason whatsoever. And I have things going on with my freaking computer. So anyway, it's happening. Just thought I'd mention that, guys. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. This is the reading for um, the week commencing on the 22nd through the 29th or right around. And we are going to get into these energies right now. I'm going to cut the deck again for all signs. It is just a general reading. The first card is the Eight of Pentacles. The second card is the Empress. The third card is Judgment. And the fourth card is the Four of Pentacles. And I'm being told to draw another card. I don't know why, but here it goes. And the fifth card is the Queen of Cups. All right. So what I am sensing here is someone is working really, really hard on something, they've worked really, really hard on a project, on a goal. They don't wanna let anybody know what they're doing. They're keeping it under wraps. They're not telling anybody really what they're up to. And then when the time is right, they will tell them what is going on, uh, definitely. For some out there, someone could be getting unexpectedly pregnant. And now this person has to tell someone else that there is an unexpected pregnancy. There could be a Libra, a Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, or Cancerian person that is having great impact on the types of energies that we are going to be dealing with in the upcoming week. Now, either their actions will affect you or they are going to be affected by these energies significantly, significantly. Um, so with the Eight of Pentacles, this is the apprenticeship. This is someone who works really, really hard to create something that is of value. Um, someone is being recognized for their hard work, for their skill, or for their expertise. Someone could be hanging things in their home as well. And guys, if this is not happening to you today, then it is going to happen to you in the future. 85%, 90% likely to happen to you in the future. If you question that, come back here a week later after this week is done and then check it out again because this stuff is absolutely coming true. It absolutely is. I mean, I don't know. I've been spot on. So if you guys 
you know, don't see the, that some of these are accurate, that's fine. But I'm pretty confident in what I'm putting out here. So I'm just letting you know that if it's not happening to you now, it should be happening to you in a week or two weeks. If it does not happen to you at that time, then this reading does not apply to you at all. Okay, so just give it time because predictions are predictions. They're in the future. They're not the now. They're in the future. So these are things happening in the future. For some of you, they're happening now. But for most of you, they're happening in the future. So basically what's going on here is that there is someone working really, really hard to create a level of perfection in their life, in their material life. Um, like I said, you could be doing stuff in the home. You could be hanging things on the walls. You could be doing woodworking. You could be doing anything that is a building type of energy, okay? Any of you that also have an, uh, a life path number of 22, you will also greatly affect this energy coming up here in this upcoming week. Then we have the Empress. So mothers are going to be of great significance for some reason. Um, mothers and children could uh, be of, of significance in, in both of these ways, especially very, very young children, pregnant females, extremely important with some sort of energy going on here in the next week um, or two, I guess we can say. Um, this is also a Taurian. This is a Libran. We do have the number three up here. So this could be a Pisces person or a, uh, a Pisces Aries Cusper. Okay, so just letting you know kind of how that works. All right. But there is something coming up here where someone is in their power. They're very confident. They're very comfortable. They know what they want. They know what they're talking about. They, they, have, the, um, they have all of the criteria. They have all of the requirements. Everything is perfectly laid out. So this is something that is coming up here as well. For some of you out there, you may be on bed rest or you may be um, exhausted. You are just exhausted. That is coming up. For the next card, we do have the judgment card. Um, somebody, I'm sorry, but judgment is about to be wielded once again. For some reason, and like I said, it was going to be this way up until June. And if you didn't hear me the first time, go back to my Libra video, my Libra full moon video. We are going to have karma delivered up until June. After June, the timeline gets sealed and then everything starts to kind of recalibrate itself. But what's happening now is people are being judged based on past actions. This is karma being redelivered. I don't know if any of you saw this the other day, but there is um, there is a soldier that was a Nazi so soldier at one of the concentration camps, and he is just now being charged. The guy's like 80-something, right? This is the energy I'm talking about, all right? This is what's coming up. There is judgment. There could be judgment relative to somebody's health. There could be karma coming back to you in a way that manifests itself through a health illness, through a health situation. So please be aware of that. Um, there is going to be significant uh, births this week for whatever reason. A lot of births are going to be happening this week. For those of you on call for the NICU, on call for surgery, on call for... Uh, labor and delivery, you are going to be busy. This is going to be a busy, busy time for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to be dealing with some patients that just don't want to give birth. I mean, it's like, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, she's dilated. The baby's coming any minute, but nothing's happening. So it just is what it is. So just, you know, let that go. Um, some people out there are constantly complaining that they're cold. I'm cold. I need more blankets. Something is going on with somebody's circulation right now for whatever reason. And it could be something related to a pregnancy. Absolutely. But it's definitely coming up here. Now, a lot of times you would think that, you know, pregnant females would be on the little bit on the warm side. But in this case, someone is very cold, cold to the touch. They're very, very cold. And you're trying to get them warmed up for some reason. This is what is coming up here. There's also a level of selfishness that is going on in this week as well. 
in the end, there is a massive, massive judgment call being made. Someone is being called to uh, answer for their crimes. Someone is being called to um, assist in some way. Someone is being called to step into the path that they were meant to step into. This is what is coming up here. And then the last card we have is the Queen of Cups. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. And this is the person that has been working their tails off. They have been working their fingers to the bone. They have been trying to make things work. They have been, you know, kicking butt and taking names. And it's like they are finally going to be rewarded. They're finally going to be recognized for everything that they put out there, everything that they offered, everything that they um, that they created for other people to benefit from. This is what is coming up because we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles that are mirroring one another. And what's happening here is since they're mirroring one another, they are, and actually they're kind of pointed, let me do this the right way, the way it looks. See how this Queen of Cups is looking at this Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like there is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is looking at someone's abilities they're looking at whether or not someone has the skills needed in order to do a job. This is definitely what's coming up here. Or this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is considering um, offering their expertise in a job or in a new job or in a promotion or something like that. But that is coming up here. There is potentially with the Queen of Cups mirroring the Eight of Pentacles, a Queen of Cups might be keeping her cards close to her chest relative to a new job opportunity so please be aware of that then we have the empress and this one is um mirroring the four of pentacles okay and again let me make sure that this is the right way so you guys can see it see this this empress is looking right at or is pointing her her body towards the four of pentacles so what's happening here is i am feeling someone is scared to tell somebody else that they are pregnant this could be coming up. It might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, or Taurus. Uh, definitely could be that type of a person. For others of you out there, you might have difficulty um, dilating or whatever um, in order to get this pregnancy. For some of you, your mother is a selfish B-I-T-C-H. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I feel like I feel two things right now. I feel excitement. I feel like hard work is being um acknowledged and realized and and you know appropriate rewards are coming but then in the same sense i'm feeling like someone is really upset at someone else i feel like someone is just absolutely upset either at themselves or at someone else but someone's mother mother-in-law is an absolute b-i-t-c-h because all she's doing is complaining and causing problems and this is really really upsetting someone absolutely or the mother you know the baby mama is causing problems they want more money i need more money but they're not doing anything to to um make a difference they're they're not offering anything to anybody they're not doing any work they're just sitting around eating bonbons all day they're not even they're not even contributing in any way they are a raving like it's almost like um what do they call them oh what are they called um like you know like the like the bitchy brides is is what this is but this is kind of like the the really um b i t c h or b och wife or be arch ex-wife or be arch baby mama so something's coming up here and guys if you are going through this i will pull an advice card i think i do need to pull an advice card for this i'll just have to figure out which card that's gonna be maybe i'll pull from the barbieri and see what's what is the advice for this energy really quick before i get into the individual elements what is the advice what is the advice What's the advice? Oh my gosh, it's the devil. <laughs> it's the 
the devil. Um, so. Wow. I'm going to take this as an archetype and I'm going to say if anybody needs advice, go to a Capricorn. Um, they seem to have the right mindset to handle such issues. Uh, for others of you out there, you are actually going to be acting very Capricornian-like and it's going to be one of get the facts, um, it's going to be one of settle yourself down, calm down, what's your problem, what's going on, this is how we're going to handle it, this is how we're going to move forward, that is exactly what I'm picking up here. I think as advice as well, this is actually telling somebody you might be getting into a relationship or some sort of partnership that is absolutely manipulative and Someone is literally going, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, or Mrs. Jekyll, Mrs. Hyde, whatever it is. This is what is coming up. Okay, so be aware of that. But for some of you out there, I do feel like there is a big, big wake up call relative to your job, your career. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be rewarded. You are going to be celebrated. You are going to be... Um, People are not only going to be mesmerized by what you're saying, they're going to be impressed by it. So this could be coming up, especially for Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios. And to a lesser degree, or no, to the same degree, Taurus, Libra, or um, Aries as well. Now I'm going to get into the individual um, elements. So let's get into the individual elements for... This upcoming week, let's start with the Earth signs. Earth signs, what's your first card for this upcoming week to clarify this energy or add more? Broken heart, Earth signs. All right. So what have we got going on for your second energy, Earth signs? Blossoming abundance. This is, okay, for some of you earth signs, you are having serious problems with a partner. Serious, serious problems. Like someone is absolutely going off their rocker and you're like, I'm really thinking I'm dating a psychopath. I really think I'm dating somebody that's not stable. I've got to get out of this. That's for some of you earth signs. For other earth signs, you have got massive abundance coming to you through work, through um, your hard work, your intuition, holding tight, making sure you didn't give up, your diligence, showing people that, you know, you can kick butt and take names. This is what is coming up here. So let's get into um, the earth signs for love. What's going on with love for the earth signs? And I will pull one for the broken heart, and then I will pull, also pull one for blossoming abundance. So apply whichever one works for you. So what is the love energy for the broken heart? What's Why is this broken heart here? What's going on? The X. There you go. Earth signs. It's your X. They're coming back. They're causing problems. They're causing a mess. They're asking for money. Uh, they're, they're, they're calling you names. They're ca this is a problem for a lot of you out there. This X is causing issues. Now, for some of you earth signs, you're finding out that an X is extremely, extremely abundant and extremely um, popular. And you're looking back at it and you're saying, oh my gosh, I missed that opportunity. And so you're thinking about your ex and it's breaking your heart. That could be going on for some of you earth signs. And remember, when I say you earth signs, you're not the only earth sign on, in this world. So there could be an earth sign. Maybe, maybe somebody's a Taurus rising and you're a Taurus sun and you're hearing this. 
Well, maybe your ex is that Taurus rising and they're thinking the same thing about you. So remember, these things can go vice versa. So what is the love energy for the blossoming abundance? What is the love energy for the blossoming abundance? The moon. This is definitely this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person right here. Okay, that's who this is. Also, um, this is emotional energy. This is psychic energy. This is intuitive energy. This is this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio reaping the benefits of abundance and blossoming abundance. So for you earth signs out there that aren't going through this mess, the other ones of you are going through massive abundance and it may be with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio or something very significant could be happening or did happen at the uh, last Libra full moon, which was on the 19th, or it could be happening at the upcoming new moon. So please be aware of that as well. For some of you out there, some of you earth signs out there, the moon is going to have great significance for you cycles, going through cycles, people around you going through cycles, the moon itself, you may have discussions regarding the moon. Um, I am hearing for uh, earth signs, avoid the void, of course, moon. You want to avoid that right now. It's called a void, of course, moon. You can go online, you can look up void, of course, and make sure that you don't make any um, major plans or major discussions when the moon is void, of course. That is what needs to be said. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move into the air signs as I always do. All right, air signs, what is your overall energy here? Man, there's a big wake up call. Wake up call, wake up call. Some of you are expecting a call this week, specifically regarding work or someone who is pregnant. Definitely. Okay. Or perhaps you're waiting for a call for a psychic reading that could be going on for some of you as well. Mother energy is very, very important. You could be calling your mother. Your mother could be calling you. Your mother could be calling somebody that's very important. Um, let's see what's going on. Air signs, air signs. What have we got? First card for air is ah uh, rest and rejuvenation. And the second card for air is the temple path. Oh, wow. Okay. Air signs. What's going on with you? Air signs. Someone is being put on bed rest. Someone does need to rest. Someone needs to stay in bed. Someone is exhausted, absolutely exhausted. They need to take a break. They've been working too hard. They've been spending too much time out partying, whatever it is. They have got to rest. They have got to take care of themselves. Um, for others of you air signs, you are extremely into meditation this upcoming week for some reason. And for those of you that are not meditating, I would highly suggest you do so. Very, very important here. Um, you are being asked to get rid of all distractions so that you can make a significant decision in your life. Now, for others of you, um, this could also be um, where you... You are about to walk on your soul path this week. Your path is literally opening up in front of you. And it is saying, this is what you came here for. This is what you're going to do. And this is what's going to happen. Now, for some of you, this could be some karma that you have to hold, that, that, that you have to take on because of maybe some past misdeeds that you did or past misdeeds that, that you did in a past life, okay? But I'm sensing for a good portion of you, it's almost as though your own spiritual path opens up in front of you and you know the exact direction that you need to go. Parks could be of great significance for some of you air signs out there. You might go running in a park. You might... Um, You, 
you might be walking around a park and wanting to see this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. Maybe they live near a park and um, you want to see them for some reason. It's like you want to see them, but you don't want them to see you. But yet you kind of do. It's almost like this. This is weird. I'm getting like a cat and mouse game air sign. I'm telling you right now, one of you has no time for cat and mouse games. And the other one who's doing the cat and mouse game, just quit. You're wasting your time. It's not going to work with this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I guarantee it. It is not going to work. Now, let's go ahead and let's see what's going on regarding love with the rest and the rejuvenation for the air signs. What's going on with love for rest and rejuvenation for the air signs? This could also be air signs you are taking a trip with someone to get... Um, to go on vacation in order to relax air signs that is definitely happening here aries yep aries you're traveling you're taking a vacation you're getting some rest you're you're getting away from the daily grind you're out there you're enjoying yourself um so a lot of you air signs might be um spending time with an aries person and then you're just going to relax and go on vacation with one another. So that is definitely coming up here. An Aries person might have great significance to you in this upcoming week relative to any of the um, information that I have just mentioned. So what about those of the air signs that have more energy going towards a temple path, maybe a soulmate relationship or a soul path direction? How is this um, affecting them and their love life? What's going on in the love life with this? No. Okay, so what's happening here, I am sensing for a lot of air signs, is that either someone is telling you no, you're telling someone else no, and it might be due to the fact that you have decided to take another path, or you have to, your soul path has opened up, and now you have to tell somebody no. That is what I am picking up here. Um, if this goes back to what I said earlier as well, when I said some of you are playing this cat and mouse game, and then I said somebody is not having it, they don't want to have anything to do with it, so you just might as well quit right now. It's a big fat no. That is what is coming up here, okay? Give yourself a little bit of respect. Give the other person a little bit of respect. If you like them, air sign, you tell them you like them. You don't play games with them, all right? If you are trying to decide, do I stay with this person? Do I not stay with this person? Find out where you stand and where you stand and where you get that answer. That is your answer. If your answer is a no, move on. If your answer is a yes, figure out how you're going to move forward from there. But you deserve to know where you stand and you also owe it to everyone else to let them know where you stand with them. All right. Getting into the water signs, water signs. What have we got going on? Water signs, water signs, water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is your energy? What's your additional energy for the elements? What's going on here? Cutting the deck. Okay, water signs. You've got the temple path. Interesting water signs. Then you've got the magician in the mirror. Water signs. Wow. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You are definitely on your soul path. You are creating, you are manifesting. You are not telling anybody about this manifestation. You are keeping your cards close to your chest. For some of you Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, you are in a position right now where you are just stating a project, a baby, a, um, a new beginning, whatever it is. There is acknowledgement of all of the efforts that you put into something. For some of you, the state of Pennsylvania may be of great significance. For others of you out there, a Gemini person could be of great significance in your life as well. There is something about fire and ice going on here. Um, water signs, I, I mentioned this. Anytime I get the magician in the mirror, I will always say this. This is like if you've got any health issues, sore, sore muscles, sore joints, try like biofreeze or try something to be able to um, 
you know, um, calm your muscles down and, and take away some of the pain. Uh, you, you may be doing that now or you may be doing that in the future. Definitely coming up here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, something very significant regarding parks is coming up here as well. Um, this could be anything regarding parks. So just be aware of that. I feel for some of you Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, either you, there could be two people here. One person is spying on another person. Okay. That is what I'm getting. It's almost like someone is looking into somebody's window, but it's almost like it's blocked or it's, it's, how do I want to say this? It's muted. There's something being muted is what I'm getting here. So I don't know what that means for some of you out there, but maybe it's an instrument that's getting muted. It's somebody's, um, it's, it's, uh, the view, like if you're trying to look into something, it's muted, it's foggy, it's not clear. You can't see directly through something. This is what I am getting here. For some of you Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, you might be trying to see through someone's motives. That could be coming up here as well. So what's going on with love regarding the temple path for those of the Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios that are following their soul path? They're about to make a new beginning in their life. They're done holding on to the past. They're ready to move forward. What is going on here with their love life? What is going on with them? Separation. This is exactly what's happening. Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpio, something is going on where because your soul path is opening up you got to leave. You got to go. You're telling somebody, it's time for me to go. I have this great opportunity. I need to move. And it's almost like, you know, first, the first person you're going to tell is your mother. And then eventually it's going to get around to everybody else at work. And then it's going to be neighbors and everything else. And it's just like someone is they don't even know what to say they're flabbergasted okay but for some of you pisces cancers and scorpios you simply could be um some of you pisces cancers and scorpios either you don't want to talk to somebody or somebody doesn't want to talk to you and it's causing this level of separation and it's making you anxious is what i'm getting for others of you, you could simply be traveling for work. And some of you may have to travel to Pennsylvania. Be aware of that. There might be a pregnant woman on the plane. For sure. Okay, what's going on for those of you that are manifesting with the magician in the mirror? Gemini. All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. What I am sensing here is that some of you water signs out there are absolutely in love with a Gemini person. This is a double Gemini. All right. So you are absolutely in love with a Gemini person, bar none. And um, this person is your empress. This person is your psychic intuitive. This person is your hard worker. This is what is coming up. So some of you uh, water signs out there, remember, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. If you have any of those, especially for the love portion of the reading, if you have any of those planets in the signs of water, this is definitely affecting you. There are, someone is out there that is absolutely in love with, with this Geminian energy. And um, this could be an actual Gemini, or it could just be Geminian energy, somebody who likes to communicate, someone who likes to talk, someone who can hold a conversation. So some of you water signs are absolutely, you're trying to get this person's attention, but it feels to me like you're going about it the wrong way. 
it's like it's like that song i want you to want me i need you to need me i'd love you to love me that song okay um that's what's going on it's almost like you're trying to get this person's attention but you're doing so in a manner that's not direct and the reason why it's not direct is because maybe you're afraid of rejection i don't know this could be happening to you uh from the other person or this other person might be um you might be having this energy towards that other person okay so it's going both ways here either they're doing it to you or you're doing it to them but what i am sensing here is that there is a water sign out there sun moon rising venus mars jupiter that is in absolute love with a gemini for other water signs out there someone is going down their chosen path and when they do this there's going to be a separation there's going to be separation from a loved one or there's going to be a missed opportunity with someone that is just what i am getting all right guys let's move into the beautiful fire signs what's going on fire signs for you fire signs what's happening fire signs first card and second card what's going on fire signs cutting the deck fire signs first card patience second card angel of strength okay fire signs you definitely have a leo person in your midst um but and also uh, sagittarian person of course so you are coming up here sages and leos you you might be intimately experiencing this particular energy for whatever reason i'm just letting you know so patience so something is going on here fire signs where you've got to be patient regarding um maybe you're in this gestation phase for a project you know maybe you're working really hard on something at work and you need to be a little bit more patient you need to give it a little bit more time you could even be working on a relationship you need to give it just a little bit more time um you know the thing is is that it's kind of like that song by 38 special hold on loosely but don't let go if you cling too tightly you're going to lose control so this is something going on for some of the fire signs out there now this does not have to be in love this could also be in business um you know any type of family relationship family dynamic definitely coming up here but you need to be patient and i am i'm i'm here to say that you might need to be patient with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, or Taurus, or Libra. So this is what I am picking up here, fire sign. Fire sign, you're picking up something that's coming in from a subliminal level, something from the, from something deep. You're feeling energetic undulations between two people four people <laughs> you're feeling these these weird undulations you something's off and you know it fire sign you know something is off right now something's not stirring the kool-aid fire sign somebody's coming clean someone's finally coming clean after a long period of patience and waiting, somebody's finally coming clean. And then with this angel of strength, this is all about someone that is not willing to give someone another chance. So fire sign, either you're not willing to give somebody another chance or someone is not willing to give you another chance. Simply put, this could also be someone around you that doesn't want to give someone another chance but it doesn't relate to you it's like a friend or a family member like somebody saying i'm not talking to them i don't want to have anything to do with them um i put them out of my mind let's change the subject that could be going on fire sign absolutely And this information might be coming from a Leo person or the Leo person, you fire sign as the Leo person, you might be getting this information from a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces, an Aries, a 
Cancer, or a Scorpio. Leos, I just, I want you to be prepared for people to start contacting you and Sagittarians too. Leos and Sagas, I think Aries, I think you're good. I, I think you're, Aries personally, I, I think you're taking vacation. I think you're, um, cause you came up with, um, the rest and the rejuvenation. So Aries, I don't think that you're, you're letting people get your goat or you're not giving them the time of day if you just don't have the energy, you're resting now. But the Sages and the Leos, it feels like you guys are getting a lot of attention from the outside and people need your help, they need your advice, they need your, they need your consultation, they need something. So this is what I am definitely picking up here. So what do we have going on as it relates to the love energy for the fire signs? Let's look at those of the fire signs who have been very, very patient regarding love. There's some news coming in. Maybe there's um, an awareness of selfishness, psychic abilities, uh, maybe somebody being pregnant, somebody working hard in a relationship. What is coming up for those that have been patient? What is it? What is the love energy? Separation. You know, this is so very interesting because um, the water signs had this as well. So separation, I mean, so I think fire signs, if you waited too long to let somebody know how you felt about them, you're going to be waiting a long time because they're gone or fire sign. If, if they didn't make a decision and you were waiting on them, you've moved on. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm not going to wait anymore. For some of you fire signs, you're getting prepared for a love separation, saying, for example, maybe your loved one needs to go overseas or they need to travel for work or whatever, and you're just being patient. You're just waiting to see them again. That could be what's going on here. This could even be a friend, okay? This could be you're patiently waiting for a friend to come back into your life, fire sign. Um, because right now they're separate from you because I feel like they don't want to be around you because of some sort of protective mechanism or perhaps fire sign you have that towards them. So what is the love energy for those that have been protecting themselves from gossip, from, you know, um, having people tell them what to do, their mother getting involved in their business what's going on here what is this energy or a mother like figure getting involved in their business possibly regarding a water sign maybe something regarding work what have we got guys the talk just like i said leos and sages it is coming up this week you're going to have the talk with a water sign, an Aries, a Taurus, or a Libran person. That's it. You're going to have a talk. And for some of you, most of you, it's if you're a Leo, this is what's going to happen. Some of you, if you're a Sag, this is what is going to happen. What I am saying and what I am picking up, someone is coming clean. And now they're begging for your help to assist them with creating the right type of change in their life because they feel like they're losing something or they feel like they missed an opportunity. This is what I am picking up by your sign. So this is what I have for you. I hope you like this reading. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes when anger energy comes in or when excitement energy comes in, I can talk very fast. I can talk loud. I can be very direct. So when that, when I start channeling that energy, that's going to, that's going to just kind of reverberate throughout the entire reading. So that's just the way I am. Sometimes you can watch all my past readings. You can see some, sometimes I am completely calm and other times I am like literally on edge. This is what it means to channel energy. Okay. I wish all of you the best, much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.